everybody, how you doing? Back out at it here. I, I'm actually adding a new permission and uh, pretty excited. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, land. And the house dates to the mid 1890s, so it's not too old, but I'm hoping it's in an olden area. I'm hoping that uh, end up turning up some pretty cool items. And uh, of course, start off by this huge tree over here, and I'll let you know how I do. Stay tuned. All right, well, I don't know if I'm starting off in the wrong spot, but I haven't really gotten any non-Ferris Ferris hits. Um, just a lot of iron so far. But this is the first signal I got. It was basically almost on the surface, under an inch under the ground. And looks like it might be a wheel, maybe a part of a toy train or something. But well, it's a start. Okay, my next find was reading mid-tone range, 1215, and I don't know what it could be, but it's got some writing on the back. The Waterbury is something. Well, I'll have to clean it up, do some research, and uh, let you know what it is. Alright, next thing up is one of my favorite things to find. Hopefully it's complete. This looks like a skeleton key, and dang, did I ding it? No, it's just flaking off. Well, it's a small one. But that is very cool. Alright, got my first coin here. It's reading 1213. It's a nickel. And I believe it looks like it's a buffalo. Can't make up the date right now, but it's definitely a buffalo nickel. It's a start. All right, my second coin of the site is another Indian uh, buffalo nickel. Uh, this one looks like it might have gotten shot. I don't know. Here's the back of it. You can see the buffalo there, but something impacted it right here. Didn't go all the way through, but. Who knows? Again, I don't know if I'll get a date off this or not. I'll have to wait till I clean it. All right, so I got a buffalo nickel right here, and I got a 1226 signal here. I don't know why I was reading 1226, unless it's a fatty, and I think it might be. But I got an Indian head here, I think. Yep. Oh, it's beautiful on the back. And the front, pretty good too. Yeah, a little chunky. No, I think it's just a regular one. I don't know why it's reading so weird. But front is very worn and decayed. I don't think I'm going to get a date off of it right now. Wow. Can't really... I mean, that's totally worn on the front. And the back is brilliant. Alright, looks like I might have my first silver coin. Just started brushing away here and I saw the gleam of silver. Uh, looks like it's just going to be a Roosevelt, but it's silver. 1940. Excellent. On the board. Alright, so I uh, rescanned the hole after I got that silver time. It looks like I got two more nickels in here.
This one's kind of shining up like it might be a silver nickel. It could just be where the... Yeah, that's a silver war nickel. Excellent. Yep. It's got a bunch of black tar on the front. I found another one near here, kind of like that. So it's going to take a lot to clean this off, but... Silver war nickel and another regular nickel. It's probably from the 40s, I'd have to say. Yeah, 1940. Very cool. All right, looks like I got another Indian head penny here in the hole. Just saw the back of it and turned the camera on. Definitely Indian head. Hopefully I get a date off this one. Ugh. In front of this one's roasted too. I can't even see the head just on it. There it is. I don't know how this is going to clean up. I mean, it's a, absolutely destroyed on the front. Well, I'll let you know. All right, my next find is a two-piece button with an iron back. But uh, it looked like it had some sort of enamel or something in there that's broken away by now. So that's kind of neat. All right, uh, this is a mid-tone range. Looks like it's a little pocket uh, wristwatch, actually, not a pocket watch. Still has some of the leather on it. I don't think it's too old. Like the uh, face is too clouded. I think it's plastic. Look at that. You can slide it right off. I think it's this New Haven on it. Well, I don't want to rub it too much. I'll see if I can clean it off when I get home. But uh, it's kind of neat. It's probably turn of the century. All right, random mock shoe. Just checking out by this old tree here. Anyways. All right, uh, let's see here. I just extracted a target at a hole. Twelve thirty-four. Looks like some sort of copper. Ah. Looks like a Canadian Lord scent. Yep. Eighteen. Something neat. I think it's eighteen eighty eight. Cool. All right, circle around the whole house now. Created a few areas, but uh, almost done for the day, and uh, managed to pick up another Indian head. It's a 1900.
All right, just got a wee penny over here and a couple feet later, got an Indian head. Looks like it's an 1892. Backside is really roasted, but I'll take it. I'm getting a 12 8 signal and see a little gleam of gold there. Oh my god. I think I know what this is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a gold thimble. No way. No way. I Never in my lifetime thought I'd find a gold thimble. That is just phenomenal. Holy, holy moly. A size 10. Oh my gosh, I'm just unbelievable. I cannot believe this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That's just incredible. Oh my gosh. It has initials on it. Very cool. Wow. That is just cool. I don't even know where to put this right now. All right, clean it off, get you a good picture of it. That's so cool. Oh my god.